Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So in today's video, I wanted to test out some new products that I picked up recently. So that is what we're going to be doing today. But before we get into that video, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. You could ring the bell. It would give you notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday. So yep, like, make comments, tell your friends, subscribe, help a newbie out. I would so, so appreciate your support. And thank you so, so much for helping me grow this channel. And now without further ado, let's get started. I grabbed this palette. A couple of videos ago, I mentioned that my best friend went to some crazy it wasn't like a discount place it was like whoever whoever is the big shot who, who makes all these makeup products skin cares whatever they were doing like a friends and family whatever girl I picked this up for 10 bucks this is the urban decay naked 3 eyeshadow palette I thought I had it, but I think I had the mini. I have to rummage through my stuff, but I thought I had it, but I don't have it. So I'm definitely gonna use that. I grabbed these two blushes from Catrice Cosmetics. It's a cream and powder palette. Yep, colors that you know, girl, I would never, never wear, but I'm gonna do it. So I grabbed, this one is in Absolute Apricot, and then this one is in Peach Passion. I mean, listen, I could have just grabbed one and grabbed a different color, but I have so, so many of like my mauves rosy all that stuff so i really don't have that many of these colors and i figured we could try them out i watched somebody on tiktok i want to say these were like seven dollars hello cream and powder i'm just saying i'm just saying so i'm definitely gonna try these out i also picked up um uh, the makeup revolution highlighter reloaded this one is in just my type i'm gonna just open it for you Ooh, that looks so good. So I want to definitely try that because I've noticed going through my stash, I really don't have that many um, drugstore highlighters. So I definitely want to try that. And then I grabbed two new Revee Beauty Effortless Lips. Oof, that was a mouthful. Actually, as I'm sitting down, she just launched three um, new colors for the fall. They were more like a 90s inspired look, but these are her second versions. So I picked up Poppy Peony, and I think there was like a red, but girl, I don't, I'm not really a red fan. No matter how many which ways I try to do it, I'm not really a red fan. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it would match this beautifully. So I grabbed these two, and I think that's it. Everything else, you know, I've already had, but I will leave everything linked below. Let's dive right into this palette so so nice of course i did pick up the original one when it came out limited edition see i could have sworn i had this but look how beautiful it's tin really really like this packaging Ooh. oh this is really pretty this is not going to match at all hmm i don't think this color whoops i don't think like this color scheme because it's very cool i don't think this is going to match this no. Hmm. Let me just see, because I think I had another new eyeshadow palette. Daggone it, because I really want to try those blushes. Let me rummage through my new bin, and let me see if I could find something. Either take away the blushes or take away the palette, but that is definitely not going to match. Rats! I'll be right back. So what I found is my Too Faced Natural Matte um, Eyeshadow Palette. I don't think I've ever used it. Maybe I swatched it, but look how gorgeous and beautiful. Ooh, isn't that so pretty? So I really want to try those blushes. So you know what? We're going to we're gonna do another video with this another time. Bummer. So we're just going to go in with this, but I'm going to stay. I really want to stay like in this uh, color scheme right over here. But you know how much I, I'm really not a fan of this color. But every time I say that, it comes out beautiful. Oh, this goes over there. Okay. <laughs> You know I can't stand the smell of anything. This smells like chocolate. Damn it. But it is what it is. Okie dokes. I don't know what my problem is. What is my freaking problem? I don't know why I'm in some, such a crazy ass funk. But um, I can't get myself together to clean these doggone brushes. I will tell you as I'm sitting down. It's a Friday night. I know I'm so popular. I have so many plans. I have nothing to do. So what I think I'm going to do. Yeah girl because you say that all the time. But I really think. I don't don't lie to the people make a commitment i think tonight will be clean your brushes night i think so let's just do that so i'm going to try and stay in with the neutrals i'm going to go in with this color right over here let me pull back this color over here and like i said i think i'm going to like you can see can you see like this color over here is a little bit like neutral but on the pinky side so i don't want to use those colors like that so i think i'm going to like i said stay like right over here that's the plan stand 
I'm gonna clean my little brushes. I have my little Sheila here from Rose and Ben. Windows are open. Today's gonna be like a freaking hot mess kind of a, a video, but it's so beautiful out. Right now it's mid-October. I don't know when this video is gonna go up, but it's so, so nice out. It's still a little cool. During the daytime, like this morning, I went to go walk the lover. I was like, I see a little bit of smoke, a little bit of smoke from my breath, but then midday, it's so beautiful out. It has been getting pretty cool out lately, like at night. I live in New Jersey. I'd say it's been getting down to like 45, 48. I'm like, wait a minute. But it has been really, really nice. Okay, that's a beautiful color. I know there's nothing there, but I love it. I love it anyway. I'm going to go in with this color right over here. It's called, oh, by the way, this color was called Heaven. Is that right? This color was called Heaven. I hope I'm going to pull it back because these lights are so freaking bright. Heaven. And then I'm going to go in with this color over here called Nat All Natural. I'm going to use the same brush. And I'm going to just start at the edge of the eye girl you know i may have to close this window but why like if every time i go sit down you couldn't you you couldn't make noise all friggin day right all day you couldn't the minute i sit mm-hmm that is so pretty don't you feel like cursing people out sometimes like i feel like i feel like opening up my window and what the hell was that? Oh, and coming to America. He comes to America and tries to find his queen. So he ends up in Queens. Of course, now he's got to start. And he's screaming, it's my queen. And somebody like rolls up the window and he's still like, shut the F up. That's what I feel like saying. I just feel like opening up my window to tell you, shut the F up. Bachi, if you don't be quiet, he's another one. Okay, so that is super, super pretty. I'm going to just go in with whatever I have left over. Going in the crease. going to take a different brush. And I think I'm gonna go in with uh, Sexpert, 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 right over here. All right, cool. We're gonna just go in and speed up the process because the rest of the stuff is nothing new. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. So I'm gonna use that. And then I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty. This is the Glowish, which I absolutely love in medium. Finish the eyes with my eyeliner, you know, the whole nine yards. And then we're gonna get to the blushes, the highlighter and the lip smack and stick. So that's what we're gonna do.
Okie dokies, that took forever um, to dry off and to slough off. But anyway, I think everything looks so nice. Listen, I did not anticipate to use this palette, nor did I anticipate to do an all matte, but damn, it came out so nice. Oof, I love it. So, so pretty. Just, just an FYI, if you never used a light matte in your inner corner, it is so, so pretty. Look how pretty that looks. Mmm, I think that's so nice. Ooh, the eyes came out beautiful. Okay, other than <laughs> the smell, don't please people. Brands, don't put scents in your products. I know people love this and it smells chocolate. <laughs> I just can't stand it. Anywho, so that is it. Let's get into these blushes. Let's swatch them. So like I said, I got two of them. They look exactly alike, but we're going to swatch um, 030. This is Absolute Apricot. It looks so friggin' pretty. It would have been nice if you opened them beforehand. Would have been nice. So this is what it looks like. That is so stinking pretty. Here's the powder. Ooh. Wow, that is so creamy. Wow. Okay, so these are the two formulas right here, cream and powder. I'm going to just, I'm going to blend this in. Wow, that is so friggin' pretty. Wow. Okay, so this is Absolute Apricot. Ooh, that is so pretty. Ooh, let me see. Look at me, I'm like, let me see. Mm -hmm. Does it match my eyes? Absolutely not, but what can I do? So that's Absolute Apricot. And then this one is Peach Passion. Ooh, that's pretty. I think we're going to have to go with this one. I think. Leave me some comments below because, you know, girl, I'm not a peachy, corally kind of girl. Like, what color eyeshadow would you do with this? Like, what color eyeshadow would you do? I'm assuming that maybe this color would kind of bring it all together. All right. Let me do it. Let me get myself a doggone brush. Let me go in with that color maybe here. Would that do it? Could be. Maybe. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to just blend that in with a clean brush. Not that they're clean, girl. Come on. They're not clean. But you know what I mean. Okay, I don't know if that did any... I don't know if that worked, but I think we're going to have to go with this Peach Passion. So let me show you this one. Ooh, that is so freaking pretty. I'm going to do the same thing. That's so pretty. Ooh, that cream is delish. So there's the Peach Passion. I'm going to put it right over here. Yeah. Okay, so the Peach Passion has a little bit of a pinkier peach, if you will. And then the Absolute Apricot is legit, like, corally, peachy. So I think we're going to go with the Peach Passion. They're both beautiful. They're both beautiful. But leave me some comments below. Like, uh, like what kind of eyeshadow color do I do with that? I'm going to go in with... I'm going to go traditional, girl. Not like you said, Patrick Todd, even though I love you. Even though I love you. I'm going to go in cream first and set with the powder. So I'm going to go in with the BK Beauty 112. And this is what... Wow, that comes out a lot. We'll see. And I'm going to just, ooh, that is so damn pretty. I barely touched, girl, but why? You don't even give it a chance, but it's so pretty. Ooh, that is so nice. Does it match the eyes? I don't know. I really don't know because I'm not really, that is so freaking pretty. Holy shishka bibble. That is gorgeous. Hmm. I'm sure these blushes would go perfect with like a warmer palette. But girl, the whole point was to use this palette and it is completely not warm at all. I didn't even know. I just opened it like with you guys. That's the beauty of doing these videos. You just never know. You pray. You pray it comes out good. Ooh, this is so beautiful. Let's pretend that the eyes match. That is so nice. Okie dokes. I'm going to go in with a dirty brush, mind your business. And I'm going to go in with the powder. And I'm going to just, damn, that's nice. Okay. That is so beautiful. I'm going to put a picture of the TikToker that I, that is gorgeous. Wow. Of the TikToker that I saw her use these. You'll know it's something, tail, no, it's not tailored because you always say that and it's not really her. Something MUA. I'll put a picture right over here. 
And if you don't know her, girl, you need to follow her. She's so damn good. If by chance you feel like you um, put too much on, just go in with the tool that you used, your foundation, concealer, and just go around. By the way, girl, I have to throw this away. It smells. I have to do it. I just did a declutter. I just did a, a foundation declutter. I'll put it in the cards right over here for you. Girl, how the hell did you save this? It friggin' smells so high. Wait a minute. Let's pretend. Let's pretend it doesn't. <clears throat> it smells to high heaven. It smells to high heaven. Girl, how did you let this little lover slide? Because it was not in my bin. As a matter of fact, I'm going to start doing like, like testing Tuesdays because there was a whole maybe pile that I completely forgot. Do I like it? Don't I like it? So every Tuesday, I'm going to try. Don't hold your breath, but I'm going to try. That's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm hoping that every Tuesday, I'm going to test out one foundation to see if I remember, like if I can recall that I like it or do I absolutely not like it. I don't know how this little sucker right over here got into Girl, keep it. I'm keeping it. It smells. I have to throw it away. But I'm going to tell you, I'm definitely going to repurchase this. This is so, so good. Hyaluronic acid, squalene, oil-free, sheer to medium. This I'm definitely going to repurchase. Okay, dokes. So that is that for now. Oh, that is so beautiful. Okay, dokes. So let's get to this lip smacking. So these are the Revee Beauty Effortless Lips from Allie Glines. I will leave her website below and I will also leave her channel. So she just recently surprised us and she launched three more effortless lips because these just came out like maybe a month ago two months ago recently and then she surprised us so she came out with three colors in like the brown tone she likes like the 90s kind of look oh my god look at that i just opened this look it's gonna match the 90s kind of look this formula is so so great as a matter of fact i just showcased these in my september favorites the formula is so so good what i love about them is number one yes they are effortless but it, they glide on like a balm like a creamy lipstick and you could keep it nice and sheer with like one swipe but if you want to build it up and give it more opacity just keep on swiping and it's so beautiful and opaque anywho so this one is peony love the component it's so freaking slick and delish so let's see so this is this is so pretty oof so this is peony that is gorge and then this one which i think we're going to use is poppy i think it's going to be perfect i think it's going to be so perfect yeah we're going to use poppy look how pretty that is right that's going to match this exactly. Look how pretty. Mm-hmm. Gorge, gorge, gorge. Okay, so the question is, do I put a lip liner on or not? I just have a little bit of lip balm on right now. And what we're going to do, let me just put it on first. And then if we need to, or if we just want to see how a lip liner looks, we'll do it after. But anyway, I am using Poppy. Let me just show you. So this is one swipe. I mean, look how pretty. Mm. It is so freaking creamy. It's so nice. So this is just a nice sheer color. Beautiful. So I'm going to just keep on swiping because I want it to look more of a lip smack and stick than a lip gloss. Do you see the difference? Oh, that's so pretty. This matches the blush. Exactly. Oh, that's so pretty. The eyes, mm, not so much, but that's okay. Girl, we're testing out new products. I didn't say that we were going to match. Trying. I would try. Mm, mm, mm. they are so beautiful and so stinking creamy if you haven't tried these review beauties you must as a matter of fact she just came out with about three blushes i gotta get my paws on them let's see here mm -hmm. i think i want to try a lip liner and i'm just gonna go in with a natural color this is the elf cream glide lip liner and i believe this one is in baddest beige yep p.s if you're gonna go crazy and look for the name on your elf lip liners you're never gonna find them they're on the lid so don't lose the lid it is so friggin small and tiny elf mm -hmm. so i'm just gonna just line the lip oh by the way let me just show it to you this is what the lip liner looks like a little bit cool but it's all right That is so, so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Let me just rummage. Oh, what is my problem? I forgot the friggin' highlighter. I don't know what my problem is lately, but every time I sit to do a video, even like to get dressed just like on my own, I always forget my friggin' highlighter. Hello? So this is the Revolution Highlighter Reloaded in just my type. Let me just swatch it for you. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, that is so pretty 
So this, yep, giving you the finger, girl. Let me just put it right up. Wow, that is so pretty. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, nice. That looks really, really potent. Relax, girl, relax. I'm going to just take it on my highlighter brush. Tappity tap tap. Ooh, ooh, that is beautiful. Wow. That is so nice. Look at that. Ooh, should we do it in the inner corner? No, I'm gonna, I like it matte. Oh, I love this. This is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Wow, I love this color lips and the blush is gorge. Now let's see, are we done? Yep, I think we are done. This came out so, so beautiful. Wow. What do you guys think? I think it's gorgeous. I think it's so, so pretty. I am in love. I am in love. I'm going to have to go back and get the other two colors. I think there's four of them, but I'm going to go back and get the rose, the mauve, whatever it is. So, so pretty. These, I have spoken about these numerous, numerous times. I am so, so happy that I got those two colors. They are so creamy and so balmy. I can't even explain. Is it a balm? Is it a gloss? Is it a lipstick? It's so beautiful. Mm. I'm really, really surprised. Please take out the scent. <laughs> but that's it. This is my video, yeah? P.S. Don't forget to throw this out. <laughs> That's it. This is my video on testing out new products. What do you guys think? I think it came out so stinking pretty. Leave me some comments below. Have you heard of these? I haven't. I'm so glad I found these and um, this is absolutely beautiful. Right up my alley. I like that icy kind of highlighter. I like me personally. So, so nice. And yeah, we're going to have to test this little lover out another time. So that is it, guys. This is my video. Thank you so, so much for sharing your time with me. And as always, you guys, be good to each other, love each other, and have a great, great day. Bye.